Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the look I am showing you today. This is my purple eye ready for New Year's Eve. So I'm using the Too Faced Le Grand Chateau palette and I'm using the black palette that has come within the palette. So if you've got this for Christmas, you can definitely use this. I would like you to comment below what you are doing for New Year's Eve. I'd love to hear from you guys. So I hope you like this look. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe and let's get on to the tutorial. My base on, which is foundation, contour and a little bit of highlighting, but I haven't done the concealer underneath my eyes. So I'm going to be using this palette from the Grand Chateau Too Faced palette. And these are all the purpley and the black and the sparkly tones and I'm going to try and just use this palette just in case you only got this as a present because what was quite cute about it is on the back of here you've got to and from meaning that somebody could have split up this gift which I think was amazing as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this shade here and this is Rendezvous and I'm going to be using a fluffy brush. Uh, this is a Lauren Luke one. Um, and I'm going to be blending that into my crease. I'm also going to go into Trefab, which is a blush. And I'm just putting a little bit of that on the edge of my brush. And this is Zoeva's 228 crease brush and I'm just going to be applying that into the crease as well. And this is going to help that purple really, really pop on the eye. But I don't want it to be too noticeable, I just want it to be a really light wash in the crease. I'm going to grab my hourglass um, eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, uh, powder and this is in Ambient diffused lighting powder and I'm just going to be applying a little bit of that on a pencil brush and I'm just going to be putting that into my brow bone. Let's go into the beautiful colour pop of purple and this is this one here and it is Provence. I'm applying it on a flat shader brush. I'm going to tap off the excess and just apply that all over the lid. I'm using pressing motions to get as much colour as I possibly can. I'm now going in with a, a big pencil brush and this is the Petite Crease Brush from Zoeva and I'm going to go in with Noir which is the black shade in there and this is really going to make it quite uh, New Year's Eve-esque, it's just going out there with the colour. And I'm going to be applying this in the crease. But concentrating it on the outer corner of the eye. So not going any further in than my uh, pupil. Now going back in with my fluffy crease brush, I'm just going to go along the edges and just blend the harsh line out. I'm going back in with Rendezvous which was the first colour I used and just going along the edge and this is going to help that transition so it's lovely and soft rather than too harsh. Now for a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to go in with Très Chic, which is this one here. This is a black with a purple shimmer in it, and I'm going to be using my fingers in order to press this in, trying to ensure that the glitter stays on the, get on the lid. So I'm just going to the outer corner, and just pressing 
that in. Going back in with a fluffy brush and just softly brushing back and forth just to blend the purple into that black. So now for a little bit of gel liner, I'm going to use Clinique's gel liner and this is in True Black 02, brush on cream liner, not a gel liner. All I'm going to do is a small line, I'm not going to do a flick this time. So looking down into a mirror, I'm just going to fill in just along the lash line. So I'm not flicking out at all, I'm just keeping the line inside. Just something a bit different, I often do a flick so I thought I'd show you some little difference, I've just followed it along the lash line. I'm now going to go in and conceal it and I'm using uh, a concealer brush by Zoeva, a concealer buffer brush, and I'm going to be using, where have I put it, Aha. Uh, this from MAC which is uh, Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm running out of this and really applying it close around there where I get a lot of darkness and then bring it out as a V and then using a sponge just to press that into the eye so now for underneath I'm going to go in with the black shade again and I'm going to be pressing a little bit on a pencil brush and this is going all the way underneath, I'm literally going for it so what I'm doing with this, I'm pressing it in because if I start rubbing it now it's going to fall all where my concealer I've just placed So I'm just putting it roughly, I'm going to go back in to blend it out. I currently look like teenage me when I didn't know how to blend. So let's get rid of that and go into the pencil brush I used earlier. And this is the Luxe Petite Crease from Zoeva. And I'm going to just blend, blend, blend. I'm going to go into Rendezvous, which is the light brown shade. The cool on light brown shade. And I'm just going to be playing that just underneath that area. Just to help with the blending and the transition of it. I'm now going to go in with a pencil liner. And this is Colourpop's Cream Gel Liner. And this is in the shade Fast Lane. Which is a bit more of a, a greeny colour. So something a little bit different. I've had this new for Christmas so I really want to try it anyway. Um, these do break easily, so please be careful with them, they are ultra soft. So just for the inner corners, I want uh, a little pop of lightness. I'm going to go in with Parfait, which is this shade here, it's the one at the bottom. No, actually, I'm going to go in with La Merce, first of all, which is looks like a white, but it has like a pinkish purple sheen to it. So that's going into the inner corners. And then I'm going to go over with the top with Parfait, just for a little bit of sparkle. Now let's move on to mascara, and I'm using that, the one that came with it, which is uh, from Too Faced, and this is the Better Than Sex Mascara. I've not tried this out before, this is the first time me trying it. Now I'm going to put some lashes on and now I'm going to put some individuals on. Um, I don't have any strips so if you've got any strip lashes go ahead. I'll just show you a quick tutorial of how I put um, individuals. So I've got one set of lashes on. You should be able to see. I'll zoom in actually. You might be able to see the glue uh, drying. But I've got one eye done. I'm going to show you how to do the next one. So I use dual glue. Um, let's have a look. I think you can now pick it up in Superdrag um, in the UK and I know Mac sell it as well so Duo um, Lash Adhesive and I use the clear white one 
because I find that's the best for um, not being able to see it. I've had the black one before, but I find it's a little bit too obvious. So I put a bit on the back of my hand. And what I like to do is have it on there because it warms up the product. So um, you're not going to have the glue is going to dry a little bit quicker. So you're not going to be worrying has it dried enough, has it not, etc. Because if you try and apply the glue straight away and put it on the eye, it's just going to slide everywhere. It needs to go a little bit tacky. So, let's put myself back in focus. I'm using these here, which are the short flare ones. Um, I think I got this from Sally's Beauty Supplies. You can get beautiful ones from Tanya Burr. I've also got the eyelier ones, which are in short, medium and long, but I've run out of the short, that's why I'm using these ones as well. So what I do, I apply a little bit of glue on the uh, end of it, and then with a tweezer, I look down into a mirror and kind of go in at an angle and place that just on the edge of my um, lash line to where my lashes are and rest them on the lashes. Then I go in with the back of it or with my fingers just to move it into place. It is as simple as that. This can be a little bit tricky and it might take a little bit of trial and error. For my lashes I start off with short because my lashes aren't very long and I start that into the middle going thicker to the outer edge and longer in the outer edge. You might have um, much longer lashes and you me might need to start a medium going to long. And I only place it wherever I feel needs a little bit of extra volume. As you can see the glue has dried on this side completely and it's drying on that side. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go into blush and bronzer and come back to putting a tiny bit of mascara just to finish that look off. I'm gonna go into the blush which is from the original palette I was using and it's in Tre Fab. And just applying that to the outer apples of the cheeks. I'm gonna be using ColourPop's uh, Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. And with my fingers, I'm just going to be tapping that on the outer edge and blending that in. I'm going to apply that to the tip of my nose and to the. I'm just going to use a lip pencil, and this is from ColourPop. And this is in the colour... Oh snap! <laughs> Sorry. So this is my look done. I've just added a little bit of gloss just for a little extra shine. And yeah, I hope you like it. Um, thanks ever so much for watching. If you are going out this New Year's Eve, please be careful, but have lots of fun at the same time. And I shall speak to you soon. Bye-bye.